Tonight, I decided to try a new recipe in the Instant Pot, a chicken burrito bowl. I took two chicken breasts that were frozen, put those in the Instant Pot for about 20 minutes, and cooked those all the way through. These are the ingredients that I added to um, the chicken after I got it cooked. I sauteed the chicken and onions and taco season packet, and then I added um, drained corn, a can of drained corn, a can of black beans that were drained and washed. Then I added 16 ounces of paste picani sauce, and Hank had made some homemade salsa, so I added three tablespoons of homemade salsa. I then added a cup of white rice. And one thing you wanna make sure with rice or pasta in the Instant Pot is that it's completely covered with liquid. So the recipe called for one cup of chicken broth, but I didn't think there was enough liquid, so I added another cup of water. Um, the reason you wanna make sure that's covered is that you will get a burn notice if your rice or pasta is not completely covered in liquid. I then put the lid back on the Instant Pot, um, set the timer for 10 minutes. Once it came to pressure, we had um, the end product. You can put it in tortilla shells or on top of nachos or eat it as a low-carb burrito bowl.